day three, the last day of the Overland Expo, uh, Pacific Northwest. And just kind of hanging out. Uh, I think there's some skills areas back here where they're gonna be showing off how well or how badly you can ride. Um, I am not planning on being that guy that falls down in front of the crowd. So, uh, so right now what I'm doing, I'm just drinking coffee and hanging out. Uh, at some point I'm gonna have to pack up and head a little bit more west. Um, we'll see what happens today. I don't, I don't think there's a lot of stuff going on right now. I don't usually say this in the videos because I just assume everybody watches the whole thing. <laughs> but this one you're gonna wanna stick around to the end. I've got a, a couple things I'd like to talk to you guys about and I need your opinion on. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for that. question for you all and I want you to think about this before you answer and I definitely want your answers down in the comments first of all if I put on a CRF 450 LRL or even a dual sport rally would you guys be interested in something like that and the second question um, if you are interested, what form, what shape do you want it to have? Do you want it to be a traditional static rally where everybody shows up, um, has party, uh, maybe you ride out from there? Do you want it to be a traveling rally from point to point to point? Um, what are your thoughts? I'm going to ask you guys, so, so put it in the comments, but please keep it short. Don't make it like this 10-page dissertation on the ultimate rally, right? Give me a couple sentences. Yes, I'll show up. And I really think it should be like, you know, caravan style where we slow roll through Moab. <laughs> um, as far as where it's going to be, it'll kind of depend on what kind uh, most people want. And uh, since it would be my rally, it would probably be in Colorado or Utah. Um, Utah, spring or fall. And I'm talking about next year, by the way. Uh, Colorado, we can do this anytime. Uh, but anyways, anyways, down in the comments, I want you to put me what you're, put me? I want you to put down, tell me uh, what your thoughts are on having a Sierra 450 LRL uh, rally, okay? So at the Overland Expo, I think I said there's only a couple motorcycle specific dealers. Uh, everything else is Jeeps and you know, $200,000 Porsche Cayenne 4x4s and, and some seriously crazy shit. Uh, one of the things that did interest me as I was walking around is, I know all you guys like my tablet that I navigate with. This is uh, the Garmin booth and this is the Garmin Tread, 10 inch or 6 inch, no 8 inch, and the Tread. The 10 inch is basically the same size as my tab, but it does well, it's a garment, so it does everything you want it to do. It's waterproof, it's got an antenna, and it also has a built in spot device. Um, I don't know, I saw that and I thought it was really cool. Here's the other one I was looking at before the Overlander, but I've seen a couple of reviews that didn't like how it did its mapping. But you know, if you're interested in uh, 
more of a rally style setup uh, navigation system those couple things are oh, they're pretty cool totally un bike related <laughs> this thing out this is amazing All right, I got a request for uh, some views of the Moscomoto Gnome tank bag. This is it. Here it is. I don't know if the size shows up, so there's my hand. The tube and stuff, things inside. Moly stuff out here. On the other side. Okay, water bladder in the bottom part. So that's the Gnome, and this, this is the Gnome Mini. And this is on a CRF 450L. Uh, it's a little bit smaller. So it's a, it's a different tank bag. Like I said, it's a little bit smaller than the other one. Yeah, if you guys have any other questions, uh, I'm paying attention. All right, so I have Mark and Kimberly, and I just asked them the question. I just asked all of you. Uh, this is what Mark thinks. What's the best kind of rally? I think... Well, to meet at a place and then you have a plot a route planned out and we're all going to meet there and we're going to camp there and then we're going to have a cool time there at a lake and then we're going to pack up and go to another spot and have another camp out okay that would be oh, super cool i love it that's that's an awesome answer okay so my next question is going to be are you going to show up if i do, I do this that I, I will i will <laughs> show up all right mark thank you kimberly yeah, awesome yeah thanks okay. Time to pack up and head west again. So this is the end of the Overland Expo Pacific Northwest, um, end of day three. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this series of videos. This is gonna be the last one. Uh, from here on out, I'll probably continue to post on Instagram of pictures and stuff I do, but um, I'm gonna go out to the coast, I'm gonna check out the Pacific Ocean. I'm going to ride my butt back to Colorado and I don't think I'm going to do any more videos like this. I think this is a good day, the last day of the Overland Expo. I think this is a good day to uh, end the series. Uh, with that, I, I do have two things. The first thing is I need to thank a whole, whole, whole lot of people uh, for making all this stuff happen. Uh, Pacific Power Sports, uh, Motaz Tires, uh, Takamoto and Taco Mike, Mike Spurgeon, Brian Price, who uh, brought me my parts and ordered it for me and, and did all that legwork. Uh, uh, he's with Atomic Moto, uh, Moscow Moto, for all their help and their support uh, while I was here and their support of all the uh, motorcyclists who were here camping in their little setup over here. Uh, BMW uh, Motorcycle Operators, or MOA, Motorcycles Operators Association, who uh, brought us coffee every morning. Uh, for the bike, obviously you see, can see, um, anybody who has a sticker on my bike has helped me in some way or another to get here and to do what I'm doing. So I need to thank all of those guys. The next thing we have to talk about, I have, I have another question for you. Um, remember your first question was, if we have a rally, number one, would you come to a rally? And number two, what does that look like to you? Put that in the comments down below of, of uh, really briefly what you're thinking of. What uh, uh, Mark said before was what I was thinking. I was thinking of a, of a rally where we stage one place, we all ride to the next, and then we restage and we, we just do that for a day or two or three. Um, that was my thought. Don't, don't even worry about what I think. I really wanna hear what you guys think. The other thing, and this is a big question I have for you, let me start off with 911 bike right now has 19,937 miles on it. Let me, which means that I need to start thinking about the 20,000 mile review. So for those of you who've been watching this series and have stuck around to the end of this video, 
keeping in mind that this is uh, July of 2022, and if you're watching this in uh, 2025, this no longer pertains to you, but if you've been watching this whole series this whole time and you've gotten this far, my question to you is what do you want to know about the bike, the accessories, um, you know, what, what questions do you have? All my other reviews have been things that I assumed you wanted to know. And uh, uh, I realize now that I was kind of arrogant. I never actually asked you, what do you want to know? So put those down in the comments as well. Try not to get them mixed up with the other uh, rally questions. I know this is going to be a, a nightmare for me to sort through, but I want you to go put in the comment, what do you want to know? What do you want to say? What uh, accessory do you want to hear about? What experience on the bike do you want to to see me do a video on and put that down there and with that i will uh, put together the 20,000 mile review uh, on 911 bike and uh and we'll see what that turns out because obviously i have no idea because i don't know what you're going to ask me but but if you wouldn't mind doing that i would really appreciate it and then that video will come out uh whenever um i'm not 100 percent sure uh, it will come out as quickly as I can, though. I can promise you that. Uh, so, one more time, everybody. I don't know why you keep watching me every day. I, I'm just, I'm just riding around on my motorcycle, breaking stuff, uh, and you guys just keep showing up and watching and and helping me and saving my bacon all the time. I, I really appreciate it, and I appreciate everybody who's watched this entire series and gotten to this point with me on my trip. Uh, again, if you want to see more trip, just go to my Instagram account. Again, it's John T. Young, and I'll keep posting stuff up there. Uh, but, but all right, you know what? I'm going to shut up now. I've been talking way too much. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys so much, as always, for watching me. I really do appreciate it.